Thank you, Mary. My name's Joy Lorne. I'm a professor here at the London School, and I have three very midwifery-like tasks. First of all, to welcome you to the world. <laughs> Um, secondly, to give you some housekeeping announcements, and thirdly, to congratulate you all. So first of all, a warm welcome to a very warm London, um, in fact, to an almost tropical London. Um, so here at the, the London School of Hygiene and, and Tropical Medicine, uh, recently ranked one of the, the top postgraduate institutes in the world, and we have around 4,000 postgraduate students, uh, many of whom are midwives, uh, and the vast majority of whom are now women. But it's uh, a little bit shocking to see that this John Snow, which we've now split into two, I think we've got about five Y chromosomes in the room. And if you happen to hop through the wall to the other side, there are about five double X chromosomes because that's the short course modeling. So maybe we need some mix up in our gender attention to birth. Um, so welcome, also welcome on behalf of March the Maternal, Adolescent, Reproductive and Child Health Centre, which is really delighted to launch with you this Lancet Midwifery series. Um, and the focus of your series here on uh, a woman and her right to a midwife, her right to a healthy birth, her right to respectful care, and her right for her baby to survive and to thrive is at the heart of what every family wants, should be at the heart of the post-2015 agenda, and I think isn't clear enough. Um, and I really am delighted to congratulate the series authors, The Lancet, on the safe delivery of this. I see Richard on a seat at the top there. Um, and I hope that this, which I think shows that midwives have in their hands the potential to deliver that healthy future that we need will also help to bring that power and make it a reality.